The next step for him is to become consistent, not to be a guy that's, you know, sometimes, you know, at times when he's really good, he's really, really good, but to become consistently good and to understand all the different ways that he can impact the game. You know, so many young people only think towards scoring. John can impact the game in so many different ways and to understand and fall in love with all of those different ways that he can do that. Um, and to become consistent with Yeah, it's changing. Uh, it's something that's new right now. It's something that's very, very different. And so it's, it's changed itself. Um, I think it's a good thing for college athletics. I think it's a good thing for young people. Um, I wish there was more parameters on it. I wish it was more consistent uh, across the states. Um, but I think it's a good thing, and I think it's changed it. Uh, look, everyone, you know, when anything new happens, everyone you know, panics, oh, it's going to be bad. College basketball is going to be great regardless every year because we have the greatest tournament uh, that there is. It's the most exciting time, as exciting of a, of a time as it is in sports. And it's always when they went to guys who go straight from the NBA, straight from college, high school to the NBA, you thought it was going to ruin college basketball. It didn't. You know, when they put in the one and done thing where you got to go, they thought it didn't ruin college basketball. Nothing's going to ruin it. Um, it's just something that everyone has to get adjusted to, wrap our arms around, and figure out how to navigate it. And normally that's what happens. You said in your press conference next door that you didn't think you and your staff were prepared to handle the transfer portal, and now you are. What does that mean? How do you, how do you manage the portal? What do you, what do you, what do you well, mean? I think you have to have someone on your staff that's constantly looking at it, that's constantly studying it, constantly has information. So these things happen fast, like when a season ends and a kid goes into the portal, a lot of times those decisions happen fast. It's not like a recruitment where you get to know a kid maybe as a sophomore or a junior, and you bring them up for visits and unofficials and they're up and you're spending time and things like that. It's a little bit like speed data. So it's, you gotta have as much information as you possibly can. You know, when these things happen, you normally start to hear, okay, this guy's gonna leave. This guy, and so just to have information. So I think you have. I think you have to have one person on your staff that's dedicated, that's constantly just looking, and, and not just the transfer portal, but just understands recruiting. That's with graphics, with mail outs. What do these kids like? These kids love pictures. They love to see themselves. So you're getting, graphic, you're doing all these different things, but that's constantly thinking about that. I don't think anymore, especially at our level, that can be just an assistant coach because you have so many other responsibilities that you have to wear. So you have to have people that I think that are dedicated on your staff that can help you with that. We didn't have that a couple of years ago. We have that now. And I think it's really, really helped us um, as we navigate the board. Coach, are you going to announce the 